Hello, let's do some examples with perfect competition, pricing, and calculating profit or loss. So this is the widget uh, production schedule I, we worked on before, you know, labor and output, total fixed cost, all the way up to average total cost. If you don't remember how we did that, go back to the previous cost videos uh, in, the, in the cost section. So now, um, now that we know about perfect competition, we know everybody's a price taker. Let's assume that this widget pr uh, producer is a price taker. So let's say that the price is $5. Okay, uh, so I'm going to put price up here. And then I've got total revenue right here. So total revenue, remember the, the formula is um, price times quantity. So let's go price. And I don't want that cell to change. So I'm going to click on it. If you put dollar signs in front of it or click on it, hit F4, it'll uh, it'll work for you. Okay, then, whoops. I don't want to go here. I'm going to go, um, remember the star is the multiplication. I'm going to multiply it by the output. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, and I'm just going to copy that all the way down. And they go up by five because that's how much I sell them for, right? My marginal revenue, well, we, we know this is five, but let's just set it as a, um, as a uh, uh, formula anyway, right? So it's this minus this. The reason I did that with the first one is because this would kind of be zero, but kind of not. It's, it's a, sort of an implied zero. So copy the formula down there, uh, and I get five the whole the whole way. That's pretty cool. Okay, now profit maximization. Remember what that is. It's marginal revenue needs to equal marginal cost. So let's see what's going on there. So with the first unit, marginal revenue minus marginal cost and uh, I lose a dollar on the first unit okay let's copy this all the way down um, so of second unit I'm gonna make a dollar forty make it up to sixty to ninety so on and so forth all the way down here on that last unit I'm gonna lose a dollar and we can assume if I keep going um, more output it's gonna uh, because of the cost structure it's gonna cost me more so I should stop at eight okay so eight is profit maximizing the reason we do this in a spreadsheet let's say the price were to go up to seven dollars, right? So I just change it up here. It's going to update my spreadsheet, and now uh, I'd be profit maximizing to make all of them. Okay. Let's say there's some kind of uh, I don't know terrible thing, and the price goes down to two dollars and um, I don't know fifty cents. Okay, two dollars and fifty cents. So I'm losing a bunch here. I'm not really covering my fixed costs, which was ten dollars. I might want to get out here, but something like four dollars I can change it there and four dollars I should produce right I should produce all the way up to eight also so it's not going to change that but um, so this is pretty useful next let's do the graphical uh, situation here and so what I've got on the notes here is uh, paperclip industry and let's uh, where is it, that one? Um, let's copy this stuff over to uh, paint Okay, there we go. So I've got uh, some things happening to the industry and some things happening, to, or we want to know what would happen to the U.S. firm. So let's draw all this thing out here. So here is demand, here is supply, and we use some different colors here. So we'll label everything. This is the market. Industry is a synonym for that. So this is price, this is quantity, this is supply, this is demand, or the San Diego. And uh, let's draw this red line here. It's not super straight there. Okay, very good. And we're we'll, we'll actually going to draw it all the way over here because well, that's where it goes. And then the firm here is going to have to take whatever the price is. So this is this is a firm that makes paper clips. Get it? So it's PC paper clips. Perfect competition. Ha ha ha. Okay. So the additional revenue here, remember, is going to be marginal revenue. This is also average revenue. And it's also the price. Okay? Sounds like they're having problems in the next room. Sorry. Um, so we want to know well, how many units should the firm produce. So let's just draw the mar the generic increasing cost um, mar uh, marginal cost. Okay? So this is how many the firm should produce. And let's say... The average total cost curve crosses right here. Okay, and so what does that actually mean? Well, it means that the average total cost curve is going to equal whatever the price is. Okay, and so you would multiply uh, this cost by this quantity, and you get the total cost. 
and then you multiply the price to get the total revenue by this quantity and that'll give you the total revenue okay the two numbers will equal because this firm is breaking even and this is actually known what's what's known as long-term equilibrium it's called that because if this firm here is making a profit okay so if they're making a making a profit other firms are going to see this and they're going to enter the market so there would be a new supply curve here just like we've drawn before and that's going to knock the price down it's going to wipe out this this firm's profit and if the firm isn't profitable in the long run they will exit the market and we'll actually see the opposite thing happen will shift back okay and if the bunch of firms leave the market and the uh, supply curve shift this way is the price going to go up and that's going to have that relationship so on and so forth so in the long run we just don't make any economic profit so let's look at some changes here metal price doubles outside the US only remember this is a US firm so because well, I said so the US based paperclip firm so this, is, this isn't going to affect their their average total cost curve just everybody else so what's going to happen right so it's not going to change the demand for paperclips consumers don't care uh, it is going to change the supply because it's part of the price of production so we'll draw this in uh, we'll do this purple color here so the rest of the market is going to bear this higher uh, cost now so what's going to happen a little bit of strainer there pretty good follow this all the way over here and so now average total uh, revenue is below the new marginal revenue and if they stick at this Q star level they're making a pretty good profit but they're actually leaving this little triangle profit out so what they're gonna do um, what do I like the green I like the green here let's go to uh, QM for Q metal okay so now this is gonna increase okay now to get the, the total revenue we multiply the new price times the quantity we'll get this huge box and the cost we're at a different cost here slightly higher but not too much higher and so the cost is going to look something like this except straighter the cost can be this whole thing right so that is whatever this at level of average total cost times the quantity okay so that's that's that the other way to do it is to just look and recognize this is cost this big rectangle is is uh, revenue and so this little part here whatever's left over it must be profit right so just multiply the difference between this this cost and the price um, by the quantity and this will give you your answer okay all right so that's that answer good news for the, the US based firm yeah okay so international stuff definitely matters for perfect competitors okay got rid of that let's do more offices filed digitally we'll do that one okay so more offices filed digitally uh, isn't really going to affect the supply for paper clips or the supply of paper clips it's going to affect the demand for paper clips our, our office is going to want more paper clips no they're probably going to want less paper clips right so this is a change in tastes and preferences so I'll do a green a green one right here this is our new demand curve and already you can see this is bad news for US based paperclip company okay so do this one over here sounds like a complete meltdown all right and uh, so then we got marginal revenue so now it's now it's here and now we have uh, this is now the revenue and this box is the cost so what this means oh I'm sorry I'm no longer at problem max I'm actually going to produce a little bit more so I should be at uh, Q we'll call that uh, QD for Q digital okay so this is actually going to cause us to go to a higher cost uh, production here and so this the difference between here to here I'll do this in uh, uh, this uh, pink color here so the distance from here to here all the way out to here is now going to be the firm's law. What happened here? Well, I'm just writing in pink. That's the firm's loss.
Okay, so uh, things can shift around and you got to be recognizing what's going on there. Um, developing countries get richer, 3D printers get cheaper. You can go ahead and do those on your own. Let me do a, just a couple more here. Um, here's one uh, with numbers. Okay, so I've already got the average total cost. Average variable cost is interesting, and then there's the marginal cost. So let's say I tell you that the price equals $4. Okay, so, so this is marginal revenue. Okay, so this is this is just a firm, by the way. Okay, so I might just say that to you. Let's see if I can color in the lines that are barely. Uh, okay, so how many am I going to produce? I'm going to produce 11. Okay, that's profit maximizing at... Um, four dollars and how much does it cost me well it looks like where it hits the average total cost is right about there see that okay and I'm gonna go with maybe 325 okay so this uh, this whole this whole one here you can do that out it's total cost okay so 11 times 325 you'll get a total cost let me uh, do that one really quick. Let's keep it. Let's see what happens here. So, so we've got uh, 325 times 11. That's $35.75. That's the total cost. Okay. I'm gonna write that down. 35.75. So don't forget. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out what the, um, the revenue is. So this is four dollars times 11 units. Okay. This is four times 11 okay and I get $44 and then I'm going to subtract away the total cost which was $35.75 and I get $8.25 so that is the the total revenue now there's another faster way to do it too where you say okay well the average total cost is through is 325 and the average revenue is four so that means I'm making a 75 cent per unit profit Let's see if that works too. We'll get the same answer. Let's see. So 11 is the quantity times 75 cents, and I got eight and a quarter. So I got the same answer, right? Um, let's do uh, let's do just one more here. Here I've changed the changed the numbers down just a little bit, and uh, let's go with uh, let's say the price is. Um, I don't know, 50. Okay, let's see what the, now let's do a loss. Let's say the price is uh, 20. How about that? We'll say the price is 20. Okay, so price is here. Okay, so we're gonna, this is, this is um, profit maximization. So we're gonna produce eight units, but the cost is like 35. So we're gonna follow this up here. So eight times 35, this is the total cost, 280. And I'm only gonna make 20 times eight so it was 160 and now I've because I didn't write it down I forgot what the uh, it was there it was 35 times 8 so 35 times 8 is 280 so 280 is the the cost and then I'm gonna get uh, 160 in revenue so I'm gonna get 120 in losses okay and we can see the loss if I draw on it here uh, this was the price. Price equals 20. Follow this over here. This is marginal revenue. Uh, follow this up here. This is average total cost, right about 35. And so it's a $15 per unit uh, loss. And so this whole area here is the loss. Okay, and it's just um, it's just 15 times 8 and you'll get the same answer. Okay, so those are several examples. There's some additional examples in the notes. Uh, let me know. See, there's another one where everything's changed. It's, it's that way on the homework. It's, it's quite useful because you can now explain it and uh, that's what it is.